Well, hello, 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 guys. It has been a long time, but I am back, and I recently just made it through the Legacy Challenge for the first time, which is actually pretty weird, because I've been playing The Sims since the first one came out, and um, I wanted to sort of do a current household video on it and share what my results were from the Legacy Challenge, you know, including the uh, points for uh, collections, the generations, and all that. So I thought it'd be neat to kind of tell you about it, and um, of course in the comments if you want to tell me about your own experiences with Legacy Challenge, feel free. You uh, will notice that um, I actually have a better mic and everything, and I actually figured out how to get my recording software to start working again. Took a while. It didn't take all the time that I was going, but you know, stuff happens. Anyway, so for the Legacy Challenge, I made the King family is what they started out with that was their uh, name in the beginning but and let's go over to the family tree here just to prove that I have 10 generations here it is right here yeah so it started off with the kings start off with Aaron King go all the way back um, oh okay yeah so here's Aaron he was the first generation. And he had Frisia, which she was the second generation here, even though her sisters are alive, because I wasn't really playing them. So Frisia was the second generation. Eris. Britain was the third generation. His father, Seth King, is actually... It shows a picture of him, and I'm going to get into that later. I'm going to tell you some of the glitches that I ran into while I was playing this challenge. It, they're weird. I've never come into contact with them during my whole time playing Sims 2, but I, I ran into some weird glitches. Okay, so Britain was the third um, heir. And he's... Yeah, most of these guys are deceased. And um, Glinda, the fourth generation heiress. I tried at first to uh, keep them all the same sex, but I had that weird glitch where you just have... You keep having girls, so I just ended up having to give that up. <laughs> the matriarchy pesh, slash patriarchy thing. So Angel was the fifth generation heiress. Xavier was the sixth generation heiress, but he actually, uh, heir, sorry, but he actually died, so it became Jody. And actually, I had her drop out of college to be the, heir the heiress, which um, I didn't realize was against the rules until I did it, but oh well. <laughs> and then Josie Lee Jolowitz, oh, as you can see, the name changed from King to Jolowitz when uh, Glinda up here took her husband. Well, actually, yeah, Glinda took her husband's uh, last name, and they became the Jolowitzes instead of the Kings. But yeah, and so Josie Lee was uh, number eight. Eva, who we have here right now, is number. Nine, or I'm sorry, Josie Lee was number seven, Eva was number eight, and Cinnamon is number nine, and she just gave birth to the tenth generation, ending the legacy challenge. Her name is Rave, which um, Cinnamon's kind of a wild child, so she, I, I thought she would be the type of person to name her child Rave. It's kind of cute, kind of cute in a party girl way. Anyway, so yeah, there's the ten points for the generations, and we also have the portraits of them down here in the living room I know my house is kinda goofy looking by the way but you know what it's it's mine so so I'm, I'm proud of it okay okay so this where do they start I can't even remember So I believe that's Britain. That's the third generation heir. That's Xavier. You know, he was supposed to be... Uh, I can't even remember the number. He was supposed to be one of the heirs, though, but he died. But I kept his portrait up there because he was supposed to be the heir. So I figured that would count. Uh, let's see. There's uh, Josie Lee, the seventh. That's Eva. She's the ninth. Or, I'm sorry, the 8th. I keep 
messing that up. Uh, this was Cinnamon when she was little. Hmm. That was Kala. She was originally supposed to be the second generation heiress, but she burned to death. I'll show you her grave in a second. <laughs> yeah, it gets interesting. And, uh, so yeah, those are the portraits. I'm not gonna... I won't ramble on about them or anything. Anyway. So, uh, on to the money. So, uh, that's four and a half points for the for all the portraits, because I have all of them hanging somewhere. And so, on to the money. So, as you can see, we have six... six ah, $685,998. And, um, when you do the math, the little, you know, Legacy Challenge math, it comes out to two points, because... I have all the expansion packs and it can't go over 300,000. So, that's two points and then I round it up to three because it goes over. So there's that. And, um, had family friends. The most family friends I had at any point was 41 family friends. I think that was a romance sim, so that makes sense. And, um, so that equals, that's, uh, ten and one-fourth points. And, um, yeah, so here we are over at the graveyard. I don't know why. Why don't I fix this? I should fix it. It bothers me when the graves aren't facing the same way. I don't know if anybody else does that, but it freaks me out. Anyway. So. There were 11 platinum graves. See, there's, this is um, uh, 5, 6, 7, 7 over here. And then in here, we have a little mausoleum of sorts that I made. I I don't know. It's the best I can do with the Sims. Anyway, so that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's 11 platinum graves. People who died with the platinum aspiration. So that's five and a half points. Um, I didn't do the lifetime aspiration part of the legacy challenge because to me that's the same thing as the platinum uh, gravestone. I mean, if they fulfill their lifetime aspiration, they're going to get a platinum gravestone anyway, so it's the same thing. Unless they, you know, die prematurely, but that's another story. Okay, we got a penalty for... Yeah, penalties. Somebody died on the lot. It was Sunny Landchild. Um, she died on the lot as a teenager. She just came over to the house and started... She was like, you know, she came, she came home from school with somebody. And she started playing on the merry-go-round and... I guess she was on there for too long and she just got off and died of starvation. Very rarely have something like that happen. It's weird. But uh, that's The Sims for you. It's perfect. I love it. Anyway, our ghost colors. Okay, so we have... Um, most of these ghosts, of course, died of old age. But we have the old age ghost. Sunny died of starvation. Kala died of fire. She burned to death. And... That's actually... Oh, yeah. And Xavier died of fright. So Xavier, he was supposed to be the... Because I keep forgetting. Let me look again. He was supposed to be the sixth generation heir, but he died of fright as a teenager, unfortunately. It was so sad. Yes. Oh, and we have a ghost out at this time, which is strange. He just went back in, but... It's early. I mean, it's it's sunny outside. We shouldn't have a ghost. That was weird. I think I circled that in the thumbnail if you want to see that. it's. I just thought that was funny. But anyway. So, there's Xavier. Yeah, he died of fright. There's all the pets that passed away. They had, um... Wow. Uh, six... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Six... Er... Six or seven pets. I think one of these is a repeat grave. I don't know. Might have deleted. But yeah, they had six or seven pets over the course of the challenge. And, um... Uh, okay. So, handicaps. Go back to your grave. You're not supposed to be out right now. It's not night time. I'm not sure why she's puking unless she's pregnant again. Anyway, pause that right now. Okay, so the one-way street. I got one point for the one-way street handicapped. I never used Elixir of Life throughout this whole <laughs> Legacy Challenge. Um, 
I'm not really a big fan of using it anyway. I just like for them to age naturally. But, so I didn't use that. The only reason I have these elixirs of life over here is for the, um, for the, the little, the little, uh, collection thingy where you collect 25 of them and then you get a point for each collection of 25. So I got, um, four points for that because I had four of these filled up with 25 of these. Okay, and I also did, as far as handicaps go, I also did the hard way. Which means you can't use any aspiration reward objects, which, I mean, that was, that was relatively easy. I don't really use them anyway, except for the, the baby, the baby bottles. And, um, also the aspiration changer thing, I like that one too, but that was pretty easy. I didn't use any of that. And finally, the last handicap I successfully, uh, didn't break was the free roaming ghosts. As you can see, I have just the graveyards back here. I just let them, you know, uh, walk through the house. It, it became a problem at one point, as you can, as I told you before. One of the Sims died from that, but that's okay. Just added to the color ghost colors that I could have in my collection. Anyway, collections. So I got all the hobby rewards. Or hobby awards, the little plaques. That you hang on the wall back here. Yeah, so these we have cuisine, um, that's yeah, sports, nature, music, and dance, fitness. I think that's science right there. Then I have some. I think I yeah, I hung them in rooms that kind of pertain to them. Like, this is the gaming plaque, and then, I'm not sure where I put the film and literature plaque. Is it over here? Yeah, film plaque, over here near the TV. And I have the arts and crafts plaque up here in the art room. Because that just made the most sense. Alright. And, um... And we got a half a point for the family hobby. So, for the family hobby, one of the Sims had to have maximum maximum enthusiasm in the hobby that the the original Sim, what are they called? The founder had maxed out. So they have to have the same hob. The one of the descendants of the founder has to have the same hobby maxed out that the founder did. So that was cuisine, and uh, one of them did that. I managed to do it with one of them, but I don't know <laughs> why I didn't do it with more Sims. But So there was that. And I have... Oh yeah, I got all of the fishing, I fishing items. The fish and the boot. All the fish and the boot. So there is the boot. There's one fish, two fish. I think that's the goldfish that you finally get at the end. So that's pretty cool to get. Then there are the rest of the fish. The only thing I didn't get was the wishing well, so I, I got half a point for that. I awarded myself half a point because yay, pat on the back. I got all the fishing items. Don't you take that away from me. I've never gotten the wishing well, though. I might go for that. If ever I do the legacy challenge again, I might go for the fishing well. Or the wishing well, I'm sorry. Alright. Now, penalties. Like I said, um we had a visitor die on the lot, so that's a negative point. That's a minus one. And then I had two reloads because it's, uh, somebody died. I don't know what happened, but like one of the heirs the heiresses died and there was no spare, so I just had to like <laughs> give up and restart the game. That sucks when that happens. And, uh, so yeah, my total points ended up being 44 and a half. I hope that wasn't too boring for you guys. I, I had fun doing the legacy challenge. Okay, you guys are distracting me. 
Yeah, I had fun doing the Legacy Challenge. It's just, I, I know some people find it boring, but it's just interesting how many different combinations of sims you can get when you're like, um, you're like hooking up with the townies and everything. You can get all these sims, you can get all these walks of life. It's kind of fun. Um. Oh yeah, let me discuss some of the weird glitches I got. So the one has to do with the karaoke machine and when you use, it's weird, if there are ghosts out at the time, like typically at night where there's like a lot of ghosts outside, you can actually choose, choose the karaoke machine, choose sing with, and then you can actually, one of the options would be the dead sim's name, but if you choose it, nothing will happen, it won't. The, 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 the ghost doesn't come sing with you or anything. I just thought that was really weird. Has anybody else ever had that happen? Because that's, that's strange to me. How are you going to sing with a dead sim? Creepy. Okay, this baby needs to be changed, people. Change the baby. No, don't feed it again. Hate it when they do that. And the other main glitch that I suffered was... I kind of touched on it earlier. Um the missing the missing family tree photo was weird if you want to look at it again so one of my sims um one of the husbands disappeared from the family tree and so does his so did his grave his grave just disappeared from the game seth seth king i don't know like how that happened I don't delete the graves so I'm not sure what happened it might have I think I like saved and then I came back into the game and it just disappeared it was weird but and um I had that also had that glitch where if you set one of the gravestones on this this uh display case here it'll actually make a replica of the gravestone and it's strange, I had to delete one of them, and I think the other one disappeared. But it was one of these dogs, I can't remember which one it was. One of the dogs. I think it was Lugnut, yeah. <laughs> these were, Lugnut was a, I think he was a Collie. But yeah, I set him on this, don't set them on these things. I didn't, apparently that's a well-known glitch, like if you set a grave on the display case. I didn't know that though, and it duplicated the grave. That was strange. Once again. Yeah, so here's most of the family. Dizzy. Dizzy was a cat. That's the only cat they had. And uh, this is their tree. I don't know if I get any points for the tree, but, you know, you there's a um, parameter in the, sim in the Legacy Challenge where you set a tree in one spot and you never move it to the end of the challenge. I don't know if you actually gain any points for that though, but it needs to be sprayed. Yes, definitely. Please spray the tree in. Is somebody to do something with the baby. What are you? Ah! Oh, do I have to do everything? Okay, so Cinnamon's an interesting story. She's kind of a wild child here, as you can see. Her, her party clothes and her fancy makeup and hairdo. She's actually wearing my favorite hairstyle. I love that. But uh, yeah, she's married to uh, Clarence, an older man. They have a May-December romance because, well, why not? Yeah, but anyway, they seem like kind of an unlucky couple. I mean, sorry, unlikely couple because they're, they're such an age difference, but they just fell in love at first sight. And they had little rave here. And uh, hopefully that's not a rocky relationship. But yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this family. I might just move. I don't know if I'm going to continue to play them. I'd like to. I might just move them out and destroy this house. Because as you can tell, I'm not too proud of this house. I don't think. I think it looks kind of funny. All of my houses have always looked funny. I, I'm, I'm just like cursed with this bad house building thing. Oh, but anyway, I wanted to go over the um, the job rewards I got too. I was kind of proud of that. 
I got like half I, I probably deserve half a point for this yes I got half a point for this because I got like um half the about half the job rewards so we have the business job reward here the athletic job reward the boxing bag the criminal job reward the slacker career reward right there um oh yeah the journalism one is right here on the table I always skip over that because it's so small yep okay was there something in that room? I don't think so. Okay, downstairs. Yeah, so back here is the... We have the... Photography... No, wait, sorry. That's the artist career. It has to do with photography, but it's the artist career reward. The cooking career reward. The architect career reward the music career reward yeah um what else we got the education career reward here and that's about it we also have interestingly an abduction I think it was cinnamon too was she the one that was abducted It might have been another sim, an earlier sim, but yeah, we had a sim get abducted from using the telescope. Interesting, uh, oh, she's pregnant again, I forgot about that. Congratulations. And uh, Eva is actually about to pass away. I know that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of a creepy thing to say, but yeah, that's, that's true. I don't know what the nanny's here right now for because she's clearly not at work. Oh yeah, I had this strange thing with the nanny. I don't even know if this was it was this family. I had this strange glitch with the nanny where I would dis like I would end services. You know, I would tell them to leave permanently, but I for some reason they kept coming back. It was so annoying. Good lord. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. Okay. So. Yep, that's my legacy challenge current household vid. Um, I hope you guys weren't bored to death by it. I hope you like it. And um, feel free in the comments, like I said before, feel free in the comments to share with me your experiences with the legacy challenge. I mean, I'd like to hear it. I think it's interesting. You know, you get, every time you try it, every single generation, you get something different. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you think of the video, and let me know your own unique...